of my playthrough of L.A. Noir. I've been breaking down the videos and throwing them onto YouTube over the course of the week, and people have told me that uh, I, A, have no clue how to read people and discern lies, uh, and then B, uh, I don't know how to drive a vehicle in a straight line without murdering everything within, well, a state of me. So, this is going to be uh, a run-through into, I, I think it's a slip of the ton tongue DLC. And uh, I apologize if I, uh, I'm going for water a little more frequently during this playthrough. Um, before I was getting ready to start streaming, I was so worried that I wasn't going to have time to make dinner that I ran out and got some Chipotle. Uh, and I got this massive burrito and I thought to myself, you know what, it's not hot enough. I have to solve this problem somehow. So I got some mango habanero hot sauce and I'm pouring it just daintily over the surface of this burrito uh, as the stopper comes out and I made burrito soup. And at this point it's like, well, I don't have time to go get anything else. <sighs> so, uh, dear God, my mouth feels like it's on fire and uh, hopefully that's gonna lead to some hot takes. Uh, all right. Let's get back into this. So I've had a whole week to think about my, uh, my investigative technique, and I'm pretty sure that I, I have a better idea about how to approach people, uh, when to be a dickhead, when to try to be nice. We're going to see if literally anything has changed, but I'm confident that I'm going to have Better than a C, hopefully, on this next run. Oh shit. Hello, welcome to the stream. You are the first person today. Phelps, Bukowski. You have a new case. Two women. Possible drink drive. How was that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? That's, That's some straight up Nova. rear window right shit. Across the street. Getting people drunk what? and like driving their cars off of the cliffs Chevy into billboards. Took a nose dive off the escarpment. It's like Fetched classic Hitchcock level bullshit. Billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. What does that guy even do? And find the goddamn evidence. Like, every single case, later, he just fellas. shows up and takes Probably credit. He's like the leader or the public face of the Dude, department. The tear to my eye watching my caterpillar grow. Person of interest, female driver, new in. location, crash site. Okay, so we're gonna go out and get some hard physical evidence here. What the? Oh, it's right across the Oh, wait, is my partner behind? Did I leave him? Ah, fuck it, he'll catch up. Okay, we're just gonna abandon this vehicle immediately and run up because it appears to be at the top of this cliff and I probably should have just taken the Shoelace Express to start out with. Boy, <sighs> out of the way, of citizen. I have shit to do and it's at the top of this hill. He can pass, like, a basic police officer's training course, but he can't run slightly up a hill due to gravity, physics, and game programming. You gotta love it. They remastered this whole thing to 1080. Well, that's June Ballard. <laughs> Tarzan's sister, beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. You can tell it's age by, like, some of the well, ways that traffic. people clip on Phelps. things. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Wow. wow. Hurt? Driver's beat up. Not too bad, considering if she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. I'm amazed that they took a 20-foot drop. Hamilton. She's just a kid. 
pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to central receiving. If you want to take a look around, stall the ambulance. Thanks. Like, do that. I don't care thing. who you are. Watch oh. out for the driver. She cuts rough. Hmm. I don't care who you are. If you take a 20 foot drop, you got a concussion. If you don't have a concussion, uh, you've at least yeah, compressed your corner, spine in some way. Crash site. Okay, are there like. Oh, Mrs. wait. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You mm. might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of beasts. I don't like. <laughs> Keep out of this. Dude's a straight zero. We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. But who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. I really like the terminology or the slang, slipping a Mickey Finn. Uh, that's like real straight up old school. Uh, but seriously, uh, the only thing I can think of, because this is like related to the LA scene and like, you know, Hollywood types, is Dopey from uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. And I'm starting to think that maybe there was a reason why he was brain dead. Let's bad cop this. It's a serious offense to withhold information from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. And don't mm. bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. Oh, that's vague and threatening. I'm really glad that you're you just like Mark admitting Bishop. this shit. You think he right might have had me. something to do with this? He's a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. Are you just like telling me that you're going to like break his legs and throw him into like, I don't know, the bay and get him eaten by sharks? I That's some bullshit. I want what happened between you two that made him want to commit a double murder. Bishop offered me a part in his picture. Then he withdrew it. The fact is, we had a deal. We pressed him on it. And this is where I am. You pressed him on it, and he tried to murder you. God, man, people are fucking brutal. All right, this let's. Uh, scene, Phelps. We need to get our bearings. I suppose I should let's probably the take the path as opposed to jumping to my death. That's not solid police work, uh, at least not in the traditional sense. I mean, it can become traditional police work if the body is ever found after you get to the bottom, uh, land. All right. Let's do some actual investigative work. You want to see this, Phelps? There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. All right, what do we got here? Oh, shit. Yeah. There we go. Set of panties. Okay, Phelps. Is this going to tell you what the... They've been torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. Gross. There's some rape stuff going on here with the dopiness. All right. Ashton from Milwaukee. Dear Jesse, please, please, dear, come home. If you're worried about your father, don't be. All is home. forgiven. He has a hot temper and can be very proud. You're still his little girl and he loves you. I know he didn't mean those things he said. You're a good, decent girl. Dear, you're not to be... Okay. Not made for Hollywood. 15 once myself. Oh my god. Classic, like, I ran away and I wanted to become... Emma and Molly. Hmm. Something terrible is going to happen. Okay. Tale as old as time. Someone runs off to Hollywood. Mom doesn't think that they're going to cut it. I mean, not everyone does. The vast majority of people don't. All right, is there anything that I can find here by observing this? No, it doesn't appear so. We're gonna look in the vehicle. Oh, shit, yeah, that's that concussion shit that I was talking about. Looks like about. they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being you... relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. You know what would help this? A fucking seatbelt. But then again, it is 1947. I don't even think that they were standard in, like, vehicles until 1960. 
Okay, that just gives me a different angle on the same headshot. Uh, I know I'm missing something. There's got to be something around here that I'm not seeing. I'm guessing that I'm going to have to go talk to her about the panties that are covered in God knows what. And then probably go and talk to the woman in the hospital about this shit. Man, these Hollywood types are sleazy. Especially back in this time period. It used to be that, like, if a studio owned you, they had your contract, they basically, like, developed you, like, the entire way. Like, what you couldn't you really live your life on your own terms. Are. Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? Why she was with you in the first place? Hmm. My question is, if I'm supposed to, like, ask or accuse, because of the fact that, um, like, if I, if I press on the fact that why the shit was ripped up there, let's, let's try that. I think you're lying, Mrs. McAfee. I think something happened to Jessica yesterday before the crash. Okay, yeah, I'm we're on the right track. Sunshine. Do you have any proof? Forcibly removed found in Hamilton's bag. Miss Hamilton's underwear were physically torn from her body. She wanted to go to a casting. I took her to a casting. Whatever happened after that is between her and Mark Bishop. Man, Hollywood men haven't changed in 50, 60 years. Fucking crazy. This is a big scene, Phelps. We need to get our bearings. Let's okay. go see the coroner. Yeah, the coroner seems like a good idea. We'll go to the coroner. Coroner. Wait a minute. Where where was the coroner again? Fuck. Sorry. Let's take a look at our location clues, people. All right. Um. We don't have anything on him yet because we need to go talk to the person in the hospital. Crash incident report. Association with Bishop. Contact with parents. And we've already done everything with her. Nato. Well, let's take a look. Yeah. Okay. We're going to just jump right back to the car. Uh, we're going to steal the coroner's car because I don't feel like riding all that far. We're going to jump in the car and we're going to head over to a different location. What, the hospital's not a location? Fucking A. I guess we did have to go talk to the coroner, which is located at the bottom of this hill. I thought we already talked to him. Like, he was the one who showed us all the shit, right? Can I talk to you again? Are you going to provide me any information? Drunk driver? Maybe not. There we How go. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. Wait, a shrunken head? What the fuck kind of bullshit Alas, is this? Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. <sighs> is it real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. Just a shrunken head for some reason. What's All right, what do we got from? here? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then painted. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, <laughs> you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever oh, did fuck. it wanted these women dead. That's pretty messed up. We should and speak to Ballard again. She might not be telling us the whole also, story. Also, like, the most, like, ridiculous and over-the-top murder weapon that probably exists in the evidence locker. Like, if this goes into an evidence room, like, long-term, it's gonna have to be stashed next to some shit that the Riddler would use. Or some ridiculous cold suit. All right, lady, let's do this. Fake shrunken head. We found a shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. This is some bullshit. 
It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. And the I talent haven't. doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop which prop house he uses? Mrs. McAfee, I think you would be Woo, in everyone's four best out of four. if you were First time Jorge ever. Gonzalez Fuck back yes. to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home after my lawyer and I have talked to the news house. Mrs. McAfee, you are still under the influence of narcotics, and you're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's nice of you to be concerned. I think we're good here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. Seems like a good plan. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. Finally, four out of four. All it took was someone who was so vain and arrogant that they telegraphed every single one of their lies hard. 11K right. Roger, en route. Get a little bit of street just ass. Huh! Take it easy, Phelps. I'd rather get there in one piece. Ah, live a little. Gotta get the Dukes of Hazard style shit going. Get busy living, get busy dying level shit. Okay. God damn it. I hate this, like, elevated giant cul de sac shit. This street is like bad news. There's nothing positive that can come out of it. Alright, can go this way. Hey, sea captain. Ahoy. The fake branding that they put into this is just absolutely fantastic. It looks so nice! They went out of their way to get that Mayberry Americana feel, and it's just like they, it really worked out for them. They used to draw kids, like, so cherub-like, like, oil painting level shit. Alright. Hello, Detective Phelps, here to interview a Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton. God, those old school nurse oh, uniforms. Yeah. She's in the room. How right anyone you. could deal with those hats? I don't know. It looks you like a stiff wind would make you here. fly, like the flying no, nun style. I don't need to be manhandled by a doctor. I need my lawyer. Hello, doctor. I'm Detective Phelps. You're attending to the young lady from the auto accident? Yes. She's conscious now, but I doubt she'll remember much. She's still feeling some of the after effects. Jessica was drugged? She certainly was. Chloral hydrate would be my guess and there's clear evidence of abuse. She's still a minor, detective. Someone planned a double murder to cover up a statutory rape? Swaps seven years for life and gets Guy McAfee on their case? Doesn't make much sense to me. I guess it depends on what they had to lose. I mean, industry people, man. Tale as old as time. You feeling better since this morning, Jessica? A little. My head still feels sweaty. Age 15. She's only 15. Head trauma, soft tissue damage sustained in car accident, residual chloral hydrate in blood stream. Hmm. All of these are numbers, but they mean nothing to me. Uh, administer, do not, no more further sedatives. Okay. Although, considering I was able to just walk in here and do some shit, uh, I feel like anyone could, like, just walk up, be like, Oh, hey, I have, like, Hello, a, the perfect chemical cocktail that can uh, kill this girl. If she ends up dead over I'm the course of this fan. investigation, it's going to be because of the fact that someone just, like, accident, mixed a bunch okay. of shit and, like, came in here and um, offered her a drink. Okay. All right. Crash report. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. I mean, that's what happens when you French kiss a fucking, like, windshield at, like, 50 miles an hour. Bad cop, something definitely happened yesterday. You're holding out on me, Jessica. Please, I want my doctor. I'm not sure I can answer any more questions right now. Contact with parents. You need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica. 
to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They mm -hmm. sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. That's some bullshit. We have the letter from your parents. You're lying, Jessica. How are we going to make this right if you lie to us? Please, Detective, why would I lie to you? Because you're a 15-year-old girl and that's traditional for all teenagers? Because you're a runaway, Jessica, and you don't have your parents' permission to be here. Now, do you want to tell me what really happened? I went with Junie to this strange place. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. Mm. I think I must have passed out. Association with Bishop. How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. How did you meet her? That's my question. Like, okay, so she's 15 years old. The other woman is like an established starlet at somehow. Did she like go in with a catering company, sit directly underneath like one of those little like rolling tables and get into one of these big ass like 1920s, 1930s style parties? I just don't understand how this person is even involved with the other one. Um, shit. Um... Hey, I got one person in here. Hey, what do you what do you think? Good cop, bad cop, accuse? There's no reason to accuse, I don't think. Probably bad cop, right? Hmm. Yeah, okay, fine. We'll go bad cop. What's the story with Bishop and Mrs. McAfee? Why does he want the two of you dead? That can't be true. Mr. Bishop seemed very happy today. Yeah, he almost killed your ass. Solved yes, a problem. Sir. And that's why he wedged a shrunken head against the accelerator pedal and punted the two of you over an escarpment? Love that word. I overheard Junie speaking to him on the phone a couple of times. Screaming, really. She can be very hard sometimes, Junie. But they seemed okay yesterday, like they worked it out. Evidence of criminal abuse. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. I mean, I think that I have to, like, give her the evidence or whatever to get her to talk more about it. So I'm saying accuse, but I'm not, like, accusing her of it. Like, she's the victim here, but I feel God like this damn is what it, I have to do. God damn it, tell the truth, Jessica. I am telling the truth. I don't know where the place is. I barely know this city. Um, yeah, I might have done fucked up there. Um, shit. Maybe bring up the evidence of abuse so that way it can jog her memory, maybe? This is probably the worst possible way to do this. I think you should leave now. You're being horrible to me. Yes, I am. It's Thank not you, intentional. Jessica. I'm just Been really bad at Here's being a police officer in general. They really should never have given me a badge. Just get in touch, okay? Okay. I think it might be a good idea if you went back home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? Mm. You almost got killed potentially by Let's one of the guys in question. Town, Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. And you still want the part. Oh my Must god, this lawyer. bitch again. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. Oh good, this always goes so well. There she goes. Come on. Alright. We gotta drive like a human being, and not like a coked up zebra that somehow found its way behind the wheel of an automobile. I swear to God, every time, like, I looked up the inflation numbers after last week, where I had like a thousand dollars in 1947, uh, monetary equivalent. It's like, I, I was basically doing the better part of a used automobile in damage to the city every time that I went behind the uh, right. Like, I could have bought a brand new set of Kenmore appliances. She seems to have made a remarkably speedy recovery. For every single case that I undertook. 
Ha! All right. These things drive like they've got 400 pounds of dead meat in the trunk, and someone has buttered the wall, like the road. There's no way around it. Get in there and see what she's up to. Probably running away from the suspicious man driving like he's somewhat drunk on a Sunday morning. Wait. Find Booth with a newspaper? Um, booth, 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 Booth. This one. Baby? The shadow! Yeah, the fucking shadow. I taught a lesson. You know what I want. Well, then make someone else do it! You still know people out here, don't you? Then make some calls! I'm gonna be very clear about this. It's affecting her mood? Get this done, or I'm... Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Sure, I got Did you the get film. the film? Hmm. There's some sketchy shit going on right now. Anyone who calls you dearest is just, uh... They got buttered words. They got, they got honeyed words. And, uh... Honestly, you should not be trusting them. Like, that shit rings of abuse on so many levels. So what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh shit, you better step on it. I mean, how many of these people? He'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McAfee's wife in the first place. How many of these starlets the just have like hitmen the on their... Just for looking at his broad the wrong way. On their payroll. What did you make just of like... the kid? You believe her story? I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. So if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill her? Because studio men in Hollywood are, have been, and will always be scum? Money corrupts, absolutely. Uh, anyway, like, I wonder if, like, the guys over at RKO Studios back in the past just had dudes on retainer to rough people up. I mean, it's not that much of a stretch. The police sure as fuck weren't doing anything to bring it in. Alright. I hope that I'm gonna get there in time. Get to the apartment before someone gets hurt. I'm working on it. I should probably deploy the siren now that I think about it. <laughs> 